Okay. Uh, this is list choice action. This is list choice action. Next because application picker. Okay, application picker. So when we when we click on globe icon, so we have application scope and update set scope. We are calling it as application picker, update set picker. Okay. Yes. Next. Application picker and update set picker. Next. Slash bucket. I think this is the last one. You can see slash bucket. Available slash bucket, selected slash bucket. So any queries uh, from this user interface, please let me know. Then I navigate to the user preferences. Uh, Mahesh, Nandan, Sardam, any queries? Altar. No, sir, I'm good. No quiz. Oh, okay, sir. I'm closing this uh, document and I will forward you uh, this document through mail. Okay. Uh, is everybody uh, forwarded your details? I hope as. Yes, but yesterday also I'm not received. Uh, even yesterday also I remember you. Saddam. Yes, Saddam. Uh, I have forwarded you uh, the class notes, right? Your mail ID is something like lead, now learning something. Yes, yes, yes. Zero. Yeah, I have forwarded. Maybe you can recheck uh, uh, your Gmail account, maybe in the spam or check mails, okay? Okay. And even uh, I haven't received your details through email, okay? I just uh, uh, taken mail from your WhatsApp and I have forwarded. Okay, I'm checking now itself. Yeah, you can check off that. Uh, okay, guys, so you can see when we click on this user profile, when we click on this user profile, so we have preferences. We have preferences. So when we click on the preferences, you are able to see multiple options. Display, theme, accessibility, notifications, debugging. First, I'm going to theme. So, can first I'm going to theme. So, here by default, we have two themes default theme, dark theme. If you want more themes, we can able to configure. Okay, if you want more themes, you can able to configure. So, you can see now we are in the default theme. That means all the menus and everything will show in the white color. So, you can see background color should be white. So, you can see wherever you open, everything will be shown in like this. So, for example, if I select a dark theme, you can see how it looks like. Now, I selected dark theme. You can see background should be like dark. So, I'm refreshing this page. You can see. Uh, for example, I'm opening something. So, you can see everything will be shown in the back, back, black color. So, here you can see it is showing the black. Okay, the palm should be like this. If it is a dark theme, maybe I don't like dark theme, so I will go for default one. So I'm going to preferences. Here also you can see everything dark. So I'm clicking on the default. Now you can refresh the form or list, whatever it is. The theme got changed. Okay, fine. Next again, I'm going to preferences. Next, uh, I'm going to display settings. Now I'm going to display settings. So you can organize form sections and related list into tabs in classic forms. For example, this is one form. This is one form. The form sections, these are the form sections. Form sections should be like tab, tab forms, notes in one tab, related list, records in one tab, presentation information in one tab. For example, so I'm I'm I am removing this option. You can see organize form sections and related lists into tab classic forms. And I remove this option. Now you can come and refresh this form. You can see how form sections looks like. So you can see form sections looks like this. Okay. Got it, everybody? Yes. Notes. Related reports. 
resolution function like this. Again, I'm keeping this option. Again, it will show as tab forms. Notes later because resolution. Next, you can run. Come here. Put line breaks in this. Put line breaks in this. So I'm clicking on all. So maybe I will select default view. So here you can see we have some uh, some spaces uh, for each and every record, uh, each and every uh, record in this list. So if I remove this option, put line breaks in list, you can see, should be uh, show something like clumsy, you can say, you can see. Maybe uh, you find some difference, how uh, the list showing now and earlier. Previously, we have some spaces uh, between record to record. Okay, now we don't have that space. Okay, again, I'm keeping same, okay. You can come and refresh here. You can see now we have some spaces in between. Next, date and time format: year, month, date, hours, minutes, seconds. Uh, here you can see any date and time fields. Yes, here we have open date and time fields. How it looks like: year, month, date, hours, minutes, seconds, like this. And when we hover, it is showing a go. So if you want to change something like that, so here you can see. Uh, like now we are able to see this part. If you want to see any of these formats, you can click. For example, um, wait, wait. Maybe I'm keeping this format, you can see. You can come and refresh uh, uh, any former list. You can see how it looks like. You can see date and ago also it is showing okay based upon the format we selected here the date and time fields will appear uh the default one is this one i'm keeping same okay next time zone so wherever you are staying based upon your uh, location you you get your time zone uh, as of now i'm keeping americas only so maybe in the basic configurations, uh, I will change the time zone to Indian standard time, okay? Uh, in this list, the IST time zone is not available. Even India time zone is also not available. So you can see, it is not available. So we have to configure that one. Next. Current start page is default. So default means, uh, it will show this app in the studio page. For example, if you don't want uh, this current start page and if you want to display some dashboard, something like that, so you can select here. For example, uh, I'm selecting use dashboards. So you can see, once I refresh, it will show in the login page, it will show dashboards. In the URL, I'm removing everything. I'm keeping the app to here only. Now I'm refreshing, you can see, we'll show the dashboards. Wait, it's loading. Yes, it's showing dashboards, okay. I'm going to preferences, display, and I'm making default one. Use the default. <coughs> So this is a list related option. So if we are filtering something, uh, it will show the data like that, okay? We don't require that much. Next. So load related list in classic form. For example, this is, uh, this is a form. In this form, we have related lists. So here we can able to define how we need to load the related list. So you can see the op, there are three options with the form, after the form loads on demand, okay? So for example, I have selected with the form. That means whenever loading the form, related list also at the time only loading, okay? Whenever loading the form, 
related list also at that time only loading. So if I select after the form loads, if I select after the form loads, you can see, you can come and refresh here. You are able to identify some difference, like fraction of milliseconds. So you can see, after form loaded, the related lists are loaded. After form loading, the related lists are loaded. Okay, got it? It's kind of small difference, small time difference. Okay, after form loaded, then related list loaded for this option. If I select, go to preferences, display, if I select. Okay. So here we already loaded the related list, then it will not show. Here I selected on demand. I will show you this with the other, other table. Maybe I'm going to change request to table. I'm opening any change request. You can see the related list will not load because of we selected on load. You can see load related list. When we click on load related list only, it will load the related list. Otherwise, it can't load. Okay, you can see. When we, I'm, now I'm clicking on load related list, then only related list should be loading. Okay. Got it, everyone. So now I'm keeping default for it. I'm going to preferences. This here also I get default for it. Yes, with the form. Uh, these are the related to spacing and help, uh, help icon related things. Okay. You don't require these options. Yes. Next, you can come. I'm going to preferences, uh, accessibility. So, accessibility. So, basically, uh, for example, we have this form. Here we have any start date, uh, any date and time fields available. Yes, here we have resolved. Here we have date and time field called resolved. If you want to show date and time formats within the date and time fields, you can select here. Now I have selected like this. Now you can come and refresh here. Uh, for date and time fields, it will show the format, date and time format. You can see now it is showing date and time format. Okay. Yes. And now again I'm removing this. It's related to colors uh, in the reports, okay? This uh, is used for shortcuts. Uh, like uh, here, uh, it is helpful only this one and remaining or uh, it's not required as of now, okay? These are related to uh, motion, uh, like uh, from the reports, uh, color changes and uh, tables or graphs, colors related. Okay, as quality. And notifications will discuss when we are talking about notifications. Okay, notifications will discuss up when we are talking about notifications. Okay, now it is not required. Even debugging also not required. Okay, these are the script debugger, automated test, UX scope max. Semi developer tool. These are the debugging tools. I will we'll discuss it when we are working with scripting. Okay. These are the user preferences. And here you can see elevated role. So here we have elevated role option is there. So basically, when the user is logging into service now instance, when the user is logging into service now instance, whatever the roles that the user have, it will automatically apply. Okay. If it is a elevated role, if the user have elevated role, that role will not apply what's up on the user login. We have to select manually. For example, I'm going to elevated role. So for example, this system administrator have elevated role called security underscore admin. When we select this security underscore admin role manually, then only this role will apply to this user. Okay. Generally, when we log in, when the login, generally when the user logging into the system, whatever the roles that user have, it will automatically apply. Okay. So, but elevated roles, we have to select manually after logging into the system. Okay. 
this is elevator doors. Uh, in Punchet user already we have seen. If you want to uh, log into the any user indirectly without their credentials, we are calling it as Impunciate user. Uh, printer friendly version. So if you want to print this particular page, we can use this option. You can see printer friendly version. Now we are able to print this page by right clicking here. You can see. Okay. Yes, print. So entire page will have. So this is printer friendly was. So yes, almost uh, I have discussed all the options. Uh, so if you have any queries uh, from today's class, please let me know. Uh, I'm stopping class here. Uh, in tomorrow section, we will discuss about the basic configurations. Once basic configurations is done, we'll discuss about, we'll start with ideas. Okay. <clears throat> uh, if anybody not receiving daily uh, class notes, so please let me know. Uh, Saddam, have you verified? Yes, sir. Just I have mentioned your wrong email. Uh, that's why you have not received your, my email. You mean to say you have forwarded your details to wrong mail ID? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, fine. Uh, so yesterday I have forwarded. Is uh, is yeah, yeah. Yesterday I have forwarded class notes. Have you received that? Subject no, contents. Sir. Is it? No, yeah, maybe. You, uh, yeah, yeah. You can send details now. So maybe yeah, I'll yeah. copy the mail ID from there. Okay. Mm, okay, okay. But yesterday I have forwarded. I remember that. Yeah, okay, I will ask Uh, guys, daily uh, class will start exactly at 6 a.m. Okay. So please try to log in exactly at 6 a.m. Then I will start class immediately. So actually what happening is every day, almost I'm waiting for three minutes, five minutes, seven minutes like that for everyone. Okay. Please try to log in exactly at 6 a.m. Then we will start class immediately. Uh, if you have any queries, please let me know. We'll discuss uh, your queries. Hello? Sir. Uh, yes, 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 Ravi. Sir, yesterday class, uh, you didn't send any email, sir. Uh, no, Ravi, I have forwarded. Maybe you can verify your email. One minute, I will check. Who I have forwarded. Okay, sir. Okay, yeah, definitely I have forwarded. I stopped my screen sharing and I'm verifying. So who man I forwarded mains, okay? Uh, so yesterday I have forwarded mail to Altaf, Ravi, Balarama, Kirti, uh, Mahesh, Ganta, Vedamsha, Royal Venkat, uh, CH Raju, uh, le uh, Learning Service Note 3010. Yeah, maybe you can check. Uh, the subject contains... Uh, Batch 22 iPhone service now daily class notes. Okay.
Ah uh, yes, Rajeshwari. Uh, you can send me uh, your mail ID. So then I will provide you the access. And Vijaya, you can also uh, send me mail ID. I will provide access. Okay. Okay. And I'm stopping recording here.